As a C3 Corvette owner, you've probably had one of these days where you pull your hood release and it comes all the way out. It's very common for these old C3s to have their hood release cables break when they're pulled. So this is exactly what happened to this car that I'm sitting in. The owner pulled a little too hard and the cable broke. So I've already fixed it, but in this video I'm going to show you how to unlatch your hood. The normal method that is used to unlatch the hood is actually quite difficult it is going to be to use this hole right here that usually has a rubber plug in it and then take a really long screwdriver and try to push this piece right here. The problem with that is when the hood is closed it's really hard to do. With the hood closed you can see you know trying to get you know just your fingers to touch that hole let alone hit the hood latch is really hard. The hood latch itself is somewhere right around here I mean, who has a screwdriver that's that long It's the shape of you that can push that piece of the hood back? I don't. So I'm going to show you a little bit easier way to get this open. First step is you're going to need a screwdriver to loosen the rocker panel. You don't have to take the rocker panel all the way off, but at least the first, I'd say, three screws need to come off in order for it to be about this much accessible. What you're going to be doing is you need room to remove the splash guard, which is in between the inner fender and the frame pretty much directly underneath here. I have already removed the splash guard, but as you can see, it's pretty simple. So these two bolt holes go into the inner fender there and there, and then those two go into the actual fender there and there, and then this just comes straight down. Now here comes the hard part. Once you have that removed, you can kind of see where you're going to be coming from. So. There's the charcoal canister, and here is your um, reservoir for your windshield wipers. And you're going to reach your arm straight up here, and then this direction toward the hood latch. What you want to do next is you want to lay down underneath the car, and you want to fish your hand up and then toward the latch. And I'm going to do it right now to kind of show you, you know, what you're looking for when you do this with the hood closed. So I'm going to find the charcoal canister, and I'm going to come up. You can see here's my hand, and I am able, so I'm able to access the latch right here. Now, this part you're not really going to worry about. This is how um, the latch will open up the hood. You're going to want to look for that lever that's on top of the hood, and then push it this direction. Once this part pops up, you'll be able to do the other side. But it's fairly simple. It's not too bad of a job, but this is the easiest way to get to it. Some of you might be like, well, let's see you do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this hood. And like you saw earlier, there's no cable that opens it up. The only way I'm going to be able to get it open is using this method. So there you go. It's latched. And as I said before, you just lay down here. There we go. I gotta get right up on it. So what I'm looking for is the actual latch itself. Okay. There it is, see? It is now unlatched. That easy. Once you get this driver side um, hood latch open, it's real easy to do the passenger side. I mean, it, it should open all by itself because when you push this latch in, you have to, it, it pulls on this one. There's a potential that this is broken or unhooked, so you just have to pull it, or you can kind of reach your arm in as far as you can and pull it. That's the best way to get the other side open. Now some of you guys might be thinking, hey, I own a 77 to 82 Corvette, this isn't going to work for me. Well, you're right, and you're wrong. So it's not going to work for you because the hood latch setup is different after 1977, but the same technique will work to open it up. It's just a little different on what you grab in order to open it. So right here we have a 1978 Corvette, and as you see on the inside, uh, the hood latches actually moved from being on the hood themselves 
to on the firewall themselves. A little bit different, but it's kind of the same thing. So let's pretend your hood is latched. We're going to latch it, and you're going to reach your arm up through that same hole, just like the other one. But instead of coming backwards and pushing on the part of the hood, you're going to come up here, and assuming this is broken, you're just going to push down right here. Just like that, and it will open up the hood. Now, to get the other side, once this side is up, you should be able to pull on this um, cable and open the other side. The other side works basically about the same as this side. But same kind of thing to open up this year, or the later year, C3 Corvette's hood as well. Yeah, it was a short video. Yeah, it might have been kind of boring, but it's going to help somebody. I think at least once a week on Facebook or on the forums or just anywhere, people are like, my hood won't open, my hood won't open. Now you know the easiest way to get your hood open that doesn't include breaking your windshield or breaking your hood. So be sure to check on all the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Patreon, all that kind of stuff. And also check the playlist page on my YouTube channel that has all the how-to stuff and stuff that will help you work on your C3. So until next time, enjoy your C3.